Hi everybody, John Lay here with Tech Force on site. Uh, just a quick note about me: I am a um, CCENT, CCNA, um, and I have passed my first test of my CCMP certification in routing and switching. Um, today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Buffalo uh, BS-GS 2048. It is a 48 port switch, um, business class Buffalo, fully configurable. Um, and it actually has a three-year warranty, so um, not too bad of a price. Uh, the retail on this, I believe, is right at $500, uh, which is pretty cheap for a switch with three-year warranty, and that's fully, fully manageable. So we go ahead and unbox this. We've got the uh, standard issue power plug. Uh, we've got the lifetime warranty information, which you can register for online if you, if you want to get a lifetime warranty for the product. A uh, little bit more information about the warranty and the three-year warranty. The bag that's empty. Looks like we've got rack ears in here, so I'm going to open that up and show that to you. Yeah. It comes with rubber feet in case you want to actually, you know, put this on a, in a desktop kind of environment. I don't know why you would, but it's possible. Screws for the ears. Uh, we've got some screws here for the actual rack mounting. And we, like I said before, we do have the, the ears for the actual rack here. So, uh, pretty standard issue stuff. Also comes with a quick start guide. Pretty nice little quick start guide. It, it talks about how to, um, you know, plug the switch in and download their utility for configuration of the switch. Um, it, it, I just want to go over some of the, the standards that the switch offers. Um, as I said before, it is a gigabit switch. Um, store and forward switching method. Um, it does support IEEE 802.3. 802.3U, 802.3AB, 802.1Q, which is an encapsulation for VLANs, um, link aggregation, 802.3AD, uh, 802.3X flow control, 802.1X radius, IEEE 802.1 rapid spanning tree protocol, and 802.1D spanning tree. Um, on top of that, it's got a buffer capacity of 3 megabits, um, jumbo frame support. The MAC address table is capable of storing 16,384 uh, 16, entries, 48 LAN ports. It also has four SFP ports for uh, fiber uplinks um, or whatever it might be that you need. Transmission distance, of course, is 100 meters. Um, connectors RJ45 has a built-in power supply. The power consumption is 38.3 watts, um, and the dimensions are pretty standard. So, um, the default settings for the switch: uh, the switch name is BS Plus, the uh, actual switch is MAC address, and then the default IP address is 192.168.1.254. Subnet mask, of course, uh, being the typical Class C 24-bit um, mask. Default gateway doesn't matter. And then the uh, username and password is, uh, the default is admin and the password is password. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit about the switch here. Heavy, which is a good sign in my opinion. Um, you don't want a cheap switch, something that is that is cheap. So you can see the SFP ports here. Uh, there are four SFP ports, like I had said before. Um, it looks like there's a little reset switch there on that corner. And then of course your 48 ports that are aligned, uh, typical as you would expect on a 48 port switch. 
It does have a diag light and a power light over here for more information on that. And then of course in the back there are a couple fans and the power plug. Uh, taking a look at the bottom, it has the model number, the MAC address, and the serial number of the switch. Uh, for a little bit of added convenience, they do give you another sticker that has a serial number on it. Um, so you can place that serial number right on the top if you want, depending on how it's racked. Um, so that's easily accessible for support. Pretty nice little feature there. And that's pretty much it for the first part of this video. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up, uh, fire the switch up, and get one of my Cisco switches out, maybe create a trunk port, set up some VLANs, and see how that goes. Thank you.